For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the supports. Neglect the thickness of the beam. So basically, we have this 500 pound force aiming to the right, and we have reactions at A and B. Usually, you want to start with the reaction at B because it can only have a vertical reaction going up. Let's call it PY. And AX can have both a vertical reaction, AY, and a horizontal reaction, which I can already tell you is going to be going to the left. Why? Because look at the 500 pound force. The 500 pound force is going to the right, therefore, the reaction has to be going to the left. So now that we have our free body diagram, we also have this moment. Don't miss it. Now we know that the sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. Let's assume going clockwise is positive. Why did we start at A? Because if we start at A, we don't have to worry about AX and AY, which is two variables. And the only variable that we have to worry about is BY. So sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. And it is equal to the 600 a foot pound moment right here, 600 foot pounds. Usually, when you pick an orientation, you want to pick the same orientation as the moment that's given. If there's more than one moment and they're aiming in different directions, then it doesn't matter. But whenever you have only one moment given in the assembly, pick that as the positive. It makes it much easier. So you put that first, the 600 plus the moment being created by this 500 pound force. Now, this 500 pound force has two components a Y component going straight down and an X component going straight to the right. The component going straight to the right is creating no moment because it's going directly away from A. Remember, we're neglecting the thickness of the beam. And the one, this, call, this component is equal to 400 pounds. How is it equal to 400 pounds? Because you look at the triangle. 500 times four over five is equal to 400 pounds. So that's the Y component. The X component, if you're curious, will be 300, same idea. 500 times three over five, but we don't need it. So for now, so the 600 uh, foot pound moment plus the 400 pounds times the distance from A, which is five feet times five minus the moment created by the BY is minus because it's creating a counterclockwise moment of BY times the distance from A to B, which is 10 feet, 10. So as you can see, we only have one variable BY. When you solve for it with some basic algebra, you get that BY is equal to 260 pounds. Now, the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. In the Y, we have a Y going up plus by going up minus the 400 pound component of the 500 pound force right here and all of that is equal to zero so we already have by we found it on the previous step so you plug it in and you solve for a y and you get that a y is equal to 140 pounds And last but not least, we got the sum of the forces in dx is equal to zero, and that's going to help us find ax. In dx, we have minus ax plus the x component of the 500 pound force, which is found by doing 500 times 3 over 5, and that is equal to 300 pounds. And that gives you this component right here. So it's 300 going to the right, so let's say it's positive is equal to zero. So AX is equal to 300 pounds. Final answer for AX, final answer for AY, and final answer for BY. We found all the reactions. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.